All right, guys. So I've been on YouTube, and not many, you know, videos out there showing how to do a radiator support. You know, you know, you can order them online, blah blah blah. But Honda's great at making it a pain in the ass, and that you have to drill out the spot welds and retack it in. And anyway, I got a '96 Honda Accord that I need the radiator support for. It's bent in on the driver's side a little bit, and it's tweaked. It makes the headlights not sit right. But anyway, come to the junkyard right here, and we'll get started. I'm going to just open the hood, start taking off the headlights, the grill, and then we'll hopefully be able to drill off the spot welds and go from there. Alright, so first vehicle I even went to. And if you can see right under it, I don't know if you can see. I know it's going to be crappy. Not working with much. This radiator, this car has already been crashed. And this radiator support has already been replaced. So, yeah, I'm not going to take this one. Um, I should I kind of knew when it said Tong Yang on the radiator support. But someone already came in here and probably body shop back in the day and put a new radiator support in. They did a pretty good job. It's straight as shit. But I'm going to move on, keep going down, looking for other Accords. i just rather not take someone else's already welded stuff, you know what I mean? Alright. Yeah, and if you guys notice, it is snowing out here. You know, the joys of working full time. That you get your days off, and every time it's your day off or days off, it's either freaking snow and raining. 40 mile an hour winds, which has been happening to me, and I'm just gonna roll with it and not really care about this little dust. And I'm in New England, I'm, I'm used to coming here with even two feet on the ground. So, pretty much, we're walking towards the Honda section, and uh, hopefully, we find one that has a decent front end that's already not messed with. Because I'd rather not have to try to break those welds loose. And just have the factory weld spots drill out. But, alright. Alright. So I came. I'd say it's a 96 or 97. Let me check out. Yeah, nice side swipe. This was, uh, oh, it's a 95. 94, 95 just because of the taillights. Should work for my procedure that I need. Um, it's already kind of taken apart, but everything looks like nice and straight, no bends, everything is what I would want. So again, I need to take out all these clips, wire and harness. I actually do need this harness because whenever my car got in the accident they did their hack body shop, whatever. They just put a different fit in that always pops the bulb out. So I'm gonna try to take this one, see what happens. All right, guys. Um, so did the radiator support thing up on, out there? I didn't film again. Too focused again. I'm in snow, rain, everything like that. I. Got through some welds, drilling it and everything. I was like, man, I'm not. I'm just gonna. There's no way that this battery's gonna last. Even the drill bits alone, like you need like three sets of drill bits to like go through the whole radiator support because they get so dull. You know, I'm working with Harbor Freight drill bits, so definitely not helping the situation. What I come to the conclusion is, I'm not wasting my time doing this. It's actually I can see why people don't have these videos up on a. Uh, YouTube going to the junkyard for removing these things because it's pointless as shit. You might as well just buy it offline. Granted, it's going to be uh, aftermarket. I don't think they have OEM ones that are like, you know, um, like you go to Honda, OEM Honda on Google. I don't think they have like the whole radio support like as a, you know, combination anyway you can go off ebay i would try to i look for like you know or amazon try to get the one with like the best reviews or reviews about it and i think it's like 80 to 100 bucks and it's better off doing that than freaking drilling out 
I'm guessing probably 40, nah, nah, 30 spot welds. And going through how many drill bits and how many hours spent. So this guy in this freaking uh, junkyard place could tell me up sixty-five, seventy dollars. Like, get out of here. Grant, he didn't say the price. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Maybe he, maybe it could have been twenty. Whatever. That'd have been cool. But again, I kind of given up. Um, I gave it a good shot. I learned from it. You know, learned that maybe I should just understand why there's no YouTube videos on it and just go buy it offline. And then, you know. What's going to happen is you're going to drill all these out. Unless you drill them out like way oversized, you're going to screw up the radiator support because you're going to have to chisel it out, which I did have a chisel and a hammer. Get behind it kind of. So, you know, if when you do it on your own car, you're going to have to drill it out, whatever. And then you're going to mangle up the radiator support a little bit. It's impossible not to. So that's why it's best just probably what I'm going to do is buy it offline, drill my own well, you know, my own car, radiator support, it's going to mangle the whole front end of uh, radiator support on that one, which is already screwed up anyway. And then I'm just going to tack, well, I'm going to weld the one I bought offline, you know, obviously clean up the where the weld spots are. You know, I'm probably going to have to, you know, hammer out some stuff that got bent on the actual frame rails and stuff. And that's what I'm going to go for now. But I'll put some clips of what I, you know, just uh, I did come here and... Hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, at least, hopefully, if someone sees this video, just buy it offline. Not worth it. That's why there's no other videos of people going to junkyards and freaking taking these things off. Because it's not worth it. Unless you got a sawzall and you want to cut through that frame rail and all that stuff. And then bring it home and have it on an electric, you know, you, you have it a drill on a, you know, your electric um, drill hooked in your house and do it that way. I don't see what the point of coming out here with 17 batteries and freaking 70, 72 freaking drill bits just to freaking take off of radiator support that's going to be all kind of bent up anyway. But hey, that's my thought.